Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. One of the beautiful descriptions of Ramadan is that it is the month of barakah. One of the aspects of barakah in Ramadan is the pre-dawn meal. The Prophet wasallam said, eat the pre-dawn meal, the suhoor, for it is barakah. This is reported by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. There are many virtues for the uh, pre-dawn meal, the, the suhoor meal. Uh, one of which is that you'll be following to the footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al-Irbad ibn Sariya radiyallahu anhu said, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam invited me once to eat suhoor with him. And he said, come forward to eat a blessed food, meaning the uh, pre-dawn meal, the suhoor meal. Uh, so it is imitating, following into the footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu acting upon his sunnah Sallallahu Alaihi He didn't just eat it, rather he invited people with him to eat it. And he called it barakah, so that's another virtue of it. It is barakah, it's a blessing, it's a source of blessing. Uh, the people of the book did not use to eat this suhoor meal. So by eating it, we will be acting opposite of the uh, people of the book. Uh, it's a source of strength and power and energy. See, many people may not be able to tolerate siyam if they go on without having eaten the suhoor meal. Uh, and this could would in some cases lead uh, to them uh, nullifying their fast and eating. So it's, it's a source of energy and it strengthens the person to eat, uh, to uh, rather to fast Ramadan. Um, one distinct virtue here is that it's a means of forgiveness in an indirect way. You have to wake up before Salatul Fajr to eat the pre dawn meal if you're not up already. And that period, that last third of the night, is the blessed period when Allah Azza wa Jal descends and says, Is there anyone who is asking forgiveness so that I would forgive him? Is there anyone who is asking anything of me so that I can grant him? Is there anyone who is supplicating me? so that I can or would honor his supplication. So eating the pre-dawn meal entails that you have to wake up during that period and you can utilize it by asking Allah Azza wa Jal in addition to having the meal. Mentioning Allah Azza wa Jal in that period when you wake up is another virtue. Allah Azza wa Jal praised a class of people from the believers he said, وَالْمُسْتَغْفِرِينَ بِالْأَسْحَارِ Those who mention Allah Azza wa Jal in a certain type of dhikr, which is asking forgiveness during that period. Another great virtue is that you uh, become deserving to the salah of Allah and His angels on you. The Prophet wasallam said, Allah and his angels, yusalloon, and I'll explain, on those who take or eat the pre-dawn meal, the suhoor. Salah from Allah means forgiveness for the slave. And salah from the angels means asking Allah to forgive the slave. So now, what should be eating during that period or on that meal? The Prophet ﷺ said, the best food a believer can eat for suhoor is dates. The, uh, the fact that dates is highly, uh, are highly nutritious is, is scientifically proven and it strengthens the body, it's a source of energy. But not all people can find dates all the time. Sometimes you might run out and especially in a case that we're in and you might not find it in the market. So is there an alternative? Yes. The Prophet ﷺ said, even if someone would take a sip of water, 
This is an alternative and it's also an indication that don't start fasting without taking something in as suhoor, even if it is a sip of water. Because you will be acting upon his command and that's enough barakah, that's enough blessings to act upon his command sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When should the pre-dawn meal, when should suhoor be uh, eaten? Well, Zayd ibn Thabit said that uh, we, a group of Sahaba, had suhoor once with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then he stood up and went to pray Fajr. So he was asked, how long was the period between the time you ate the, 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 the suhoor and the adhan? when the Prophet ﷺ got up to uh, pray. He said, a period enough to recite 50 verses of the Qur'an, uh, which is not too long. And the reason for delaying suhoor to as close as possible to Salatul Fajr is that it would give energy for a longer period uh, as opposed to some people, wrong practice, who eat suhoor at 1 or 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock, before they go to bed, so that they don't have to wake up before Salatul Fajr, and they would wake up just to, to pray Fajr, which is a wrong practice because it's, uh, it contradicts the instructions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud used to hasten and eat his, suhoor, his futur as soon as the sun set and would delay his suhoor as close as possible to Salatul Fajr. And when he was asked, he said, this was the practice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.